This evening's gospel reading comes out of the 15th chapter of John, verses 9 to 17. And in today's gospel reading, Jesus gives us one very, very powerful commandment. The commandment he gives us is this. Love one another as I have loved you. The exact location, 12th verse, 15th chapter of John. Love one another as I have loved you. That is simple, that is challenging, that is powerful, and that is difficult to accomplish. Jesus has given us so much in his love for us, you don't have to look any further than the cross. When you look at that cross and see those arms outstretched, that's how much he loved us. A person once asked Jesus how much you love me, and he said, I love you this much, and he stretched out his arms and clearly then dies on a cross for our sins. Now Jesus gives us that commandment, love one another as I have loved you. He's asking his followers to follow that. That is something that is very difficult for all of us as human beings to accomplish, to achieve. It is easy to love someone who loves you. It is difficult to love someone who hurts you. And Jesus dies on a cross at the same time the crowd is mocking him, jeering him, scoffing at him. His side is cut with a lance and immediately flows out blood and water. That despite all that, Jesus still takes that cross all the way to the top of Calvary. And he dies on a cross for our sins. We're going to watch a little video this evening about a father and a son, an elderly father and perhaps about a middle-aged son. And then the exchange between the two, the elderly father will let his son know that when you were a baby, when you were young, I did everything I could for you. I never got mad. I never got angry. I just kept giving and giving and giving. Why now as I'm a little older? And I don't seem to understand everything as clearly as you do. Why is your reaction to get mad at me quickly? Let's watch. If we could just stop that for a minute, just Jim, the, the audio of that isn't working, Jim. If you could start that from the beginning and perhaps, uh, hopefully there isn't trouble with the audio, but we'll need definitely audio to get the full impact of the video. Thank you. 
What's there? Sparrow. What's that? That's a sparrow. And what, what's that? Sparrow. It's a sparrow. Goodness. Say, how many times do I have to tell you? Can't you just sit down and relax and enjoy the lovely day? Read that. Today, my youngest son, who just turned three years old, was sitting with me at the park when a sparrow sat in front of us. My son asked me 21 times what it was, and I answered all 21 times that it was a sparrow. I hugged him every single time he asked me the same question again and again, without getting mad, feeling affection for my innocent little boy. The commandment stemming out of thanks gospeling is a very simple commandment. It's difficult to live. It's a great challenge. Love one another as I have loved you. That's what God, that's what Jesus asks us to do. It's not that difficult in sound. But it's difficult to, to live. In the proportion of the amount of love I gave to you, Jesus says, just return that love back to me. Now think about your own life. You're challenged tonight on how your relationship is with God and his son Jesus, but, but put it in, in perhaps the smaller terms. Just think about your life, your relationship with perhaps your parents. And perhaps they're deceased, but think back when they were living. How our parents give us everything. How that dad gave his son everything. That little boy, that man, when he was a little boy, asked his dad 21 times, what is that? 21 times without getting mad, he said, a sparrow. Many years later, the dad says to the son, what is that? And by the second time, he's upset. By the third time, he's angry. Why is that? I've had parents tell me that somehow their kids have become the parents. A lot of people scold their parents. They yell at them. Did you ever do that? Are you doing that now? Why? Just think about it. Are you treating your parents exactly the same way they treated you when you were three months old, four months old, five months old? Or do you get mad at them quickly? If you can't figure out that relationship with someone who is that close to you, then will your relationship with God be any greater? Or will it be less? I suppose less. The commandment is powerful. Jesus says, 12 verse, 15 chapter of John, 
love one another as I have loved you. He gave us all, but often we give Jesus very little. We allow the news of the world to change our opinion about church and change our opinion about Jesus, but, but it's not his fault. None of us like to be blamed for something we have not done. Yet freely and without problem, we blame Jesus for the things he hasn't done. Jesus doesn't say, follow everyone on the face of this earth. He simply says, follow me. Not all these other people. So I'll leave you with that commandment. And in a moment, we're going to travel through our examination of conscience. As you're putting together what you want to share with the priest tonight, as you hear the different questions and the examination of conscience, place those questions up against that video. How well do you treat your earthly parents? And how well do you treat your heavenly father? The commandment, 12 first, 15 chapter of John, love one another as I have loved you.